Hello, Tony. You hear me? Hello, teacher. Right. How are you, Tony? I'm very good. Thank you. All right. Uh, apologies last time. You see, um, my power during that time cut yeah. off immediately. It's so dark during that time. Uh, yes, and I have to watch you for 20 minutes. Yeah. Then I asked my mother why you don't join again. Oh, I see, I see. But... Ah, your mother did not tell you right away because I sent message. Yeah. Ah, she was in work. She was at work. Yeah, she is. She goes jogging. Ah, she was jogging outside. <laughs> so you did not yeah. know. I see. Sorry. Sorry about that. Meaning, literally, I don't have power in my house. And the Wi-Fi is off. So I cannot really connect to my internet. I just use my phone because I have a data. You look a load. So I can use for the internet, but I cannot handle, I cannot, I cannot attend the class with just that kind of instrument, just my phone. Okay. So apologies about that. But your mom uh, told you about it, right? Your mom told you? Yeah. I see. I see. When I asked her, she is, go finish jogging and tell me. Oh, I see. I see. That's great then. Okay, good. All right. So... Now, let's go to continue. Okay. So, what did you say remember our topic last time, um, Tony? Mm, we are listening. Listening, right? And yes. we finished on a particular part. Uh, we just did not have the last part, right, for the listening. We are into the last part. Okay, just a second, Tony. Let me just load the listening. Yeah. Okay, for the listening last time, we talk about what do we have actually? Um, yeah, let me just check it out quickly. Okay. Okay, uh, just a second, Tony. I'm just checking the material. Okay. Okay, um, by the way, did you go out today? Mm, yes, I go out. Uh, for all the, I go out at uh, the morning to study. Then I go to my cousin home to eat lunch. Then I, uh, then I sleep at my cousin home. Then I go to study from my cousin home is two kilometers mm -hmm. by a motor, by a motorbike. Then go to here and study with you. I see. I see. Oh, uh, why did you go to your cousin again? Why are you in your cousin's house? What did you do there? Mm, I reading my books, uh, then eating, then doing my homework 
for the morning than learning with you. Okay, good. So, um, you're doing your homework. I see. Okay, good. And okay, uh, the information is already here. So let's start doing the listening now. Let me share my screen to you. Can you see my screen, Tony? Yes. Okay, we're just going to start a new thing here with this one, okay? So we're going to read this one, okay? Okay, for questions one to seven, what's the time? So of course, um, this is the usual information, but for words, new words for part one, Okay. Rob. Rob. It's Rob stealing, right? Stealing. Next, plate. Plate. Next, lamb. Lamb. Okay. Next, mushroom. Mushroom. Onion. Onion. Okay, good. So these are the words that we're going to use later. So let's start listening, Tony, okay? Okay. Let's start. Now open your question paper and look at part one. There are seven questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. Choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below it. Before we start, here is an example. What's the time? Have you got the time? Yes, it's twenty past three. The first picture is correct, so there is a tick in box A. Look at the three pictures for question one now. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. How did the film end? And in this film, a young man and his girlfriend try to rob a bank so they can afford to get married and go around the world together. But he gets caught outside the bank, and their dream never comes true. Now listen again. And in this film, a young man and his girlfriend try to rob a bank so they can afford to get married and go around the world together. But he gets caught outside the bank, and their dream never comes true. Two. What time does the train to Rome leave? Excuse me, what time does this train leave? This train leaves for Paris at five to three. Paris? Isn't it the Rome train? No, that goes at twenty-five past three from platform four. Now listen again. Excuse me, what time does this train leave? This train leaves for Paris at 5 to 3. Paris? Isn't it the Rome train? No, that goes at 25 past 3 from platform 4. Three. What is broken? I'm terribly sorry, Mum. I've just broken something. Oh dear, what was it? Well, I got up too quickly from the table to answer the phone and knocked one of your plates onto the floor. At least it wasn't your new lamp. Oh, I thought I heard a crash. Now listen again. 
I'm terribly sorry, Mum. I've just broken something. Oh, dear. What was it? Well, I got up too quickly from the table to answer the phone and knocked one of your plates onto the floor. At least it wasn't your new lamp. Oh, I thought I heard a crash. Four. Where are the man's shoes? Have you seen my old shoes? I thought they were under the chair by the television. Not anymore. They're by the door with the other rubbish. I've been tidying the flat. Well, the living room looks very nice, but you're not throwing my old shoes away, all the same. Now listen again. Have you seen my old shoes? I thought they were under the chair by the television. Not anymore. They're by the door with the other rubbish. I've been tidying the flat. Well, the living room looks very nice, but you're not throwing my old shoes away, all the same. Five. What will Paul get at the shop? Right. Now, what do we need for this sauce so Paul can get it for me? Let me see. Onions, tomatoes, one red pepper, mushrooms and two carrots. So, what have I got? Onions. <laughs> I've always got those. Tomatoes. Yes. Red pepper. No, I'll need one of those. I've got mushrooms. Oh, dear, no carrots. Paul! Could you go to the shop for me, please? Now listen again. Right. Now, what do we need for this sauce so Paul can get it for me? Let me see. Onions, tomatoes, one red pepper, mushrooms and two carrots. So, what have I got? Onions. <laughs> I've always got those. Tomatoes. Yes. Red pepper. No, I'll need one of those. I've got mushrooms. Oh, dear, no carrots. Paul, could you go to the shop for me, please? Six. How were they told to do their homework? Wow, your homework looks great. Thanks. I typed it on my dad's computer. But didn't Mrs. Smith tell us we had to write it in our books? Oh, no, you're right. Oh, what am I going to do now? Now listen again. Wow, your homework looks great. Thanks. I typed it on my dad's computer. But didn't Mrs. Smith tell us we had to write it in our books? Oh, no, you're right. Oh, what am I going to do now? Seven. What did Helen buy? Look, Roger, I've been shopping. They've got some great things in style, right? Hey, that's brilliant. Lovely colours and it'll keep you warm in the winter. Yes, but are the sleeves too short for me? No, they look fine. Now listen again. Look, Roger, I've been shopping. They've got some great things in style, right? Hey, that's brilliant. Lovely colours and it'll keep you warm in the winter. Yes, but are the sleeves too short for me? No, they look fine. That is the end of part one. Okay, Tony, do you have answers ready for one to seven? Mm, can you let me listen again? One more time? Okay, sure. Yes. Anne and his girlfriend. Box recording twice. One. How did the film end? And in this film, a young man and his girlfriend try to rob a bank so they can afford to get married and go around the world together. But he gets caught outside the bank, and their dream never comes true.
Now listen again. And in this film, a young man and his girlfriend try to rob a bank so they can afford to get married and go around the world together. But he gets caught outside the bank, and their dream never comes true. Two. What time does the train to Rome leave? Excuse me. What time does this train leave? This train leaves for Paris at five to three. Paris? Isn't it the Rome train? No, that goes at twenty-five past three from platform four. Now listen again. Excuse me. What time does this train leave? This train leaves for Paris at five to three. Paris? Isn't it the Rome train? No, that goes at twenty-five past three from platform four. Three. What is broken? I'm terribly sorry, Mum. I've just broken something. Oh dear. What was it? Well. I got up too quickly from the table to answer the phone, and knocked one of your plates onto the floor. At least it wasn't your new lamp. Oh, I thought I heard a crash. Now listen again. I'm terribly sorry, Mum. I've just broken something. Oh dear, what was it? Well, I got up too quickly from the table to answer the phone. And knocked one of your plates onto the floor. At least it wasn't your new lamp. Oh, I thought I heard a crash. Four. Where are the man's shoes? Have you seen my old shoes? I thought they were under the chair by the television. Not any more. They're by the door with the other rubbish. I've been tidying the flat. Well, the living room looks very nice, but you're not throwing my old shoes away, all the same. Now listen again. Have you seen my old shoes? I thought they were under the chair by the television. Not any more. They're by the door with the other rubbish. I've been tidying the flat. Well, the living room looks very nice, but you're not throwing my old shoes away, all the same. Five. What will Paul get at the shop? Right now, what do we need for this sauce so Paul can get it for me? Let me see: onions, tomatoes, one red pepper, mushrooms, and two carrots. So, what have I got? Onions. <laughs> I've always got those. Tomatoes. Yes. Red pepper. No, I'll need one of those. I've got mushrooms. Oh dear, no carrots. Paul, could you go to the shop for me, please? Now listen again. Right now, what do we need for this sauce so Paul can get it for me? Let me see: onions, tomatoes, one red pepper. Mushrooms and two carrots. So, what have I got? Onions. <laughs> I've always got those. Tomatoes. Yes. Red pepper. No. I'll need one of those. I've got mushrooms. Oh dear. No carrots. Paul, could you go to the shop for me, please? Six. How were they told to do their homework? Wow, your homework looks great. Thanks, I typed it on my dad's computer. But didn't Mrs. Smith tell us we had to write it in our books? Oh no, you're right. Oh, what am I going to do now? Now listen again. Wow, your homework looks great. Thanks, I typed it on my dad's computer. But didn't Mrs. Smith tell us we had to write it in our books? Oh no, you're right. Oh, what am I going to do now?
Seven. What did Helen buy? Look, Roger, I've been shopping. They've got some great things in style, right? Hey, that's brilliant. Lovely colours, and it'll keep you warm in the winter. Yes, but are the sleeves too short for me? No, they look fine. Now listen again. Look, Roger, I've been shopping. They've got some great things in style, right? Hey, that's brilliant. Lovely colours, and it'll keep you warm in the winter. Yes, but are the sleeves too short for me? No, they look fine. That is the end of part one. Okay. Tony, do you have answered okay. it now? Yes. Okay. For number one, can you tell me? Mm, number one is letter B. Okay, what is that? Is the police officer cut the rope? Okay, I mean, this is the robber, right? I mean, where is it? What is that? The bank. In the bank. Okay. Outside the bank. Outside the bank. Very good. It's outside the bank. Okay, number two. What's your answer? It's letter B. What is that? It's pa pass 25 past 3. 25 past 3. Letter C. Very good. Number three, what is broken? Is number C. Letter. Letter C. Are you sure the lamp is the one broken? No, I can I face is letter A. Letter A? Yes. The plate? Yeah. Okay, yes, it's the plate, not, not the lamp. Number four, where are the man's shoes? Where are the man's shoes? Let us see. Where is it? Is outside with, an with another shoes. It's outside with another shoes, okay? Yeah. Very good. Number five, what will Paul get at the shop? What will Paul get at the shop? What's the answer? Mm, is letter C. Okay, letter C. What is it? It's oh, is pepper that? and carrots. Very good. Number six. It's Letter A. What is that? Is tell they tell to do their homework in a book. Okay, do it in the book. Very good. But how did the girl do her homework? How did the girl do her homework? She do in her find the computer. Okay. And lastly, number seven, what did Helen buy? Letter B. What is it? It's a sweater. Very good. Nice one, Tony. You got perfect score. Give me a high five. All right. Nice one, buddy. All right. Good, good job. Okay. Okay. So let's try to read, uh, read everything here. For example, let's read number one. How did the film end? Man. And in this film, a young man and his girlfriend try to rob a bank so they can afford to get married and go around the world together. But he gets caught outside the bank and their dream never comes true. Okay, your turn, Tony. Can I read it? One, how does the film end? Man, and in this film, a young man and his girlfriend try to rob a bank so they can afford to get married and go around the world together. 
But he gets caught outside the bank, and that dream never comes true. Very good. Nice one. Next. What time does the train to Rome leave? Excuse me. What time does this train leave? The woman said. This train leaves for Paris at 5 to 3. And the man replied, Paris. Isn't it, isn't it the Rome train? The woman said. No. That goes at 25 past 3 from platform 4. Okay, your turn, Tony. Sorry, what? Why is broken? Man, I'm terrible sorry, mom. I have just broken something, woman. Oh dear, what was it? Man, well, I got up too quick. Too quickly from the table to answer the phone. Tony, read number two first, on not three. One. Read number oh, sorry. two. Sorry. One time does the train to Rome leave? Man, excuse me. What time excuse does Excuse me. Excuse me. What time does this train leave? Woman, this train leaves for Paris at five to three. Man, Paris isn't in the Rome train. Now that goes at 25 past three from platform four. Okay, uh, try to read a little slower, Tony, okay? But that's okay. good. Okay, three. What is broken? Man, I'm terribly sorry, mom. I've just broken something, woman. Oh, dear, what was it? The man said, well, I got up too quickly from the table to answer the phone and knock one of your plates on the onto the floor. At least it wasn't your new lamp. Oh, I thought I heard a crash. Okay, Tony, your turn. Three, one is broken. Man, I'm terrible sorry, mom. I am the Terribly sorry. I'm terrible sorry, mom. Not terrible. I'm terribly broken. sorry. Again, listen. I'm terribly, terribly sorry, mom. I am just broken I've something. I've just broken something. I've just broken something. Oh dear, what was it? Well, I got up too quickly from the table to answer the phone and knock one of the place onto the floor. At least it wasn't your new lamp. Uh, I thought I heard a crash. Okay, good. Next, oh. number four. Let me read first, Tony. So okay. listen carefully how I read. Where are the man's shoes? The man said, a man asked, have you seen my old shoes? I thought they were under the chair by the television. The woman replied, not anymore. They're by the door with the other rubbish. I've been tidying the flat. The man said, well, the living room looks very nice, but you're not throwing my old shoes away all the same. Your turn. Oh, where are the men's shoes? Man, have you seen my old shoes? I thought they were under the chair by the television. Woman, not anymore. They are by the dog with all the rubbish. I have been tidying the flat. Man, where is the flat? Living room look very nice, but you are not throwing my old shoes away or the same. Okay, good. Now let's go to the next part. Five. What will Paul get at the shop? Right now, what we do need for this sauce so Paul can get it for me. Let me see. Onions, tomatoes, one red pepper, mushrooms, and two carrots. So what I have, what have I got? Onions, I've always got those. Tomatoes, yes. Red paper, red pepper, no. I'll need one of those. I've got mushroom, oh dear, no carrots. Paul, could you go to the shop for me, please? Fine, what will Paul get at the shop? Woman, 
Right, now what do we need for this sauce so Pong can get it for me? Let me see. Onions, tomatoes, one red pepper, mushrooms, and two carrots. So what have I got? Onions, I have already got those. Tomatoes, yes. Red pepper, no. I need one of those. I've got mushrooms, oh dear. No carrots. Paul, can you go to the shop for me, please? That's very good. Next number six. How were they told to do their homework? The boy, wow, your homework looks great. The girl said, thanks, I type it on my dad's computer. Boy, but didn't Mrs. Smith tell us we had to write in our books? Girl, oh no, you're right. Oh, what am I going to do now? Your turn, Tony. Six. How was they told to do their homework? Boy, wow, the homework looks great. Good, thanks. I tried it on my dad's computer. Boy, but didn't Miss Smith tell us we had to write it in our books? Good, oh no, you're right. Oh, what am I going to do now? Okay, very good, Tony. Now let's go for the last part, seven. Women. Look, Roger, I've been shopping. They've got lot. Sorry, they've got some great things in style, right, man? Hey, that's brilliant. Lovely colors, and I'll keep you warm in the winter. Women, yes, but are the sleeves too short for me, man? No, they look fine. Return, Tony. Okay. Seven, what did Helen buy? Woman, look, Roger, I have been shopping. They are got, they have got some great things in style, right? Hi, that's brilliant. Lovely colors and it will keep you warm in the winter. Woman says, but are the slivers too short for me? No, they look fine. Okay, good. Now let's go to read the next part, but can you describe to me what you can see here? I can see that it's a shopping mall. Shopping mall, not shopping mill. Shopping, shopping mall. mall. Can you say it again? What is it? It's a shopping mall. Okay, good. And in the shopping mall, what can you see here? Mm. I can see that many people are going to shopping. Some with their good friend, with wife, or with their, shop, their family, or lonely go so lonely. Oh, just tell me what are you? What are the things that you can see here? Aside from the people, what are the important things to see here in the mall, in the shopping mall? Aside from the people. I don't know. What do you call these things? What do you call these things? These things, what do you call that? Mm, it's a shops. Okay, there are shops in the mall. You know, right? Yeah. What else? Mm, and there is... A shop in the middle of the shopping mall. Um, okay. This is. one, what do you call this one? Is, I can remember. <gasps> this is an escalator. Okay, escalator. escalator. Okay, good. Okay, you will hear part of a local radio program in which someone is talking about shopping center. Okay, so let's listen one more time, Tony. So pay attention, please, okay? Okay. Now turn to part two. Questions eight to 13. You will hear part of a local radio program in which someone is talking about a shopping center. 
For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part 2. We just have to wait a little more, Tony, okay? So look on the questions first. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. In today's program, David Green has come along to tell us all about Waterside Shopping Center near Northport. Good morning, David. Good morning. Well... I visited Waterside last week, and I think it has something for everyone, and I would recommend it for a day out. It's taken three years to build, and finally opened three weeks ago, two months later than planned. Firstly, getting there. There are organized coach trips from most towns in the area, but they leave early and come home very late. So, I drove. There are 12,000 free parking spaces, so parking is no problem. You can also get there by train, but the station is 15 minutes from Waterside by bus, and the buses are really crowded, so you sometimes have a long wait. And what about opening times? Well, one thing to remember is that the shops don't open till 10 in the morning, except on Saturday when they open at 9. So, don't get there too early on a weekday. They close at 8 o'clock every day, except Friday, when they're open until 9 p.m. Can you tell us some more about the facilities at the shopping centre? Yes. It's arranged on three levels. You'll find all your favourites here. In fact, if you want to buy a pair of shoes, there are 15 different shops to choose from on levels 1 and 2. When you run out of money, there are seven different banks. But collect your money before you get to the third level, as there aren't any banks up there. On that level, however, there are several restaurants as well as a cinema with seven screens. And uh, don't get lost like I did. Go to the information desk on the first level and get a map. What else can you do at Waterside? Before you go back to your car or the bus, and in fact, it might be better to do this before you go shopping and have too much to carry, go and see the lake. Take a walk or have a go at fishing, sailing or windsurfing if you have time. Or you can rest your tired feet and watch the birds and ducks, but you are asked not to feed them. Was there anything you didn't like about the shopping centre? Oh, well, although I had a good day, I would complain about one thing, but not the usual thing. The service in the shops was good, and I had an excellent lunch in a cafe. No, the silly thing was that everywhere was quite clean, but people were dropping their sweet papers and empty drink cans on the ground because there wasn't anywhere else to throw them. Apart from that, I would recommend it. And so that's all for today's program. We're going to listen one more time, Tony, OK? Now listen again. In today's program, David Green has come along to tell us all about Waterside Shopping Center near Northport. Good morning, David. Good morning. Well. I visited Waterside last week, and I think it has something for everyone, and I would recommend it for a day out. It's taken three years to build, and finally opened three weeks ago, two months later than planned. Firstly, getting there. There are organized coach trips from most towns in the area, but they leave early and come home very late. So, I drove. There are 12,000 free parking spaces, so parking is no problem. You can also get there by train, but the station is 15 minutes from Waterside by bus, and the buses are really crowded, so you sometimes have a long wait. And what about opening times? Well, one thing to remember is that the shops don't open till 10 in the morning, except on Saturday when they open at 9. 
so don't get there too early on a weekday. They close at eight o'clock every day except Friday, when they're open until nine p.m. Can you tell us some more about the facilities at the shopping centre? Yes, it's arranged on three levels. You'll find all your favourites here. In fact, if you want to buy a pair of shoes, there are fifteen different shops to choose from on levels one and two. When you run out of money, there are seven different banks. But collect your money before you get to the third level, as there aren't any banks up there. On that level, however, there are several restaurants, as well as a cinema with seven screens. And、uh, don't get lost like I did. Go to the information desk on the first level and get a map. What else can you do at Waterside? Before you go back to your car or the bus, and in fact, it might be better to do this before you go shopping and have too much to carry. Go and see the lake. Take a walk or have a go at fishing, sailing, or windsurfing if you have time. Or you can rest your tired feet and watch the birds and ducks. But you are asked not to feed them. Was there anything you didn't like about the shopping centre? Oh, well, although I had a good day, I would complain about one thing, but not the usual thing. The service in the shops was good, and I had an excellent lunch in a cafe. No, the silly thing was that everywhere was quite clean, but people were dropping their sweet papers and empty drink cans on the ground because there wasn't anywhere else to throw them. Apart from that, I would recommend it. And so that's all for today's program. All right, Tony, are you finished、oh, with your answers now? That is the end of part、yes. two. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, lady. Okay, Tony, can you read number eight and tell me your answer? Let's be. Read. The shopping center opened. No. Okay. Read it first. Center open.、Mm -hmm. B. Two months. Two months, Two months ago. ago. Okay, the correct answer is three weeks ago. Letter A. Okay, Tony. The number nine. nine. The speaker suggests. The speaker suggests the best way of traveling to Guangzhou site is by B car. Very good. Number ten. Number ten. Home front is a shop are open for a nine to nine. Okay, the correct answer is ten to nine. Okay, ten to nine. Okay, number eleven. On the third level, you can see fire bank. Okay, the correct answer is watch a film. Okay, number twelve. Okay. Apart from shopping to a water side, see go sailing. Go sailing. Very good. Yeah. That's number thirteen. What does a speaker complain about? I there was nowhere to、uh, put rubbish. Very good. Okay, so out of the six questions, you got three wrong answers, but three correct answers. So that's good. Okay, so we're going to end here, Tony, and we're going to read this one. On Tuesday, okay. So thank you very much for coming to class, Tony. I'm going to see you on next Tuesday, okay. Bye bye now. Thank you, thank you. Good, good night. Bye.